Okay, guys, this lesson is 2-5. It's an estimate with two-digit divisors. Okay, so there's our common core strand, and how can we use compatible numbers to estimate quotients? Okay, so here's some basic facts, you guys. So uh, remember, multiplication is, um, is the inverse operation for division. So here's multiplication. 5 times 9 equals 45. So we can estimate uh, quotients using compatible numbers that are found by using basic facts and patterns. Patterns with zeros, for example, if we added a zero, 50 times 9 is 45 with a zero. Do you see how this one zero made this one zero right here? If we did uh, 500 times 9, well, it's still nine, uh, 5 times 9, which is 45. Okay, so this 5 and this 9 gave us this 45, but there's these two red zeros, so our answer has two red zeros. If we had 500 times 90, well, here's two red zeros. Here's one more, so that gives us three zeros, and we still do 5 times 9 is 45, except with three zeros. Here's 45 with four zeros. Three zeros from this one, and then one zero from that one. So when we divide, we're going to be doing this kind of principle to inverse operation. Here's an example. Marta does sprint bike racing. One race is 1,353 feet long. She can ride that distance in 60 seconds. About how many feet does she travel per second? So we're going to uh, divide. We're going to estimate that eight in this lesson. Uh, 1,353 divided by uh, 60. So let's estimate this so what uh, use two compatible numbers uh, to find two different estimates so think of six you guys and multiples of six are are six twelve eighteen so if we're talking about one thousand three hundred how about one thousand two hundred because uh... The, there's my twelve right here so here's the twelve and this six right here so we can uh, that's a nice compatible number one thousand two hundred and then since this is over that what's the next multiple of six six times three is eighteen so how about one thousand eight hundred so now we can use eighteen and this six right here and these zeros when we divide are going to divide off so so here we go so um, here we're going to use patterns and basic facts to help us with this math so let's do that with this one right here okay so twelve divided by six equals two everybody knows that that's a basic fact right here so uh... twelve with a zero divided by six with a zero is still two the zeros cancel each other out so twelve with two zeros divided by six with one zero is going to be this answer except it's going to have one more zero in there so it's going to be twenty right there okay and you can think this zero and this zero cancel each other out so it's not multiplying where we add the zeros when we divide we take off a zero right here okay so Similarly, 18 divided by 6 is 3, so if we do 180 divided by 60, that's still 3 because these zeros cancel off. So if we do 1800 divided by 60, that's going to give us 30 right there, okay, because these zeros cancel off. Do you see the trick right there? All right, so Marta travels about um, uh, uh, 20 to 30 feet per second, so that's what goes right there, okay. So the more reasonable estimate is, um, well, which one's closer, to, uh, 1,200 or 1,800 closer to this? Looks like 1,200 would be closer, so the answer that would be more reasonable would be uh, the 20 feet per second because um, uh, the 1,200 is closer to uh, 1,353 feet than the 1,800 is, okay? All right, so Marta travels on her bike about 20 feet per second, okay, because the 20 feet was a little bit more reasonable on that, okay? All right, in fact, it's a little bit more than that because uh, 1,300 is a little bit more than uh, 1,200, so I don't know, about 21, 22 would be a good guesstimate, you guys. All right, so here, here's another one. Paula has saved $650 to spend during her 18-day trip to Knight's Landing. Her hope is to spend the same amount of money each day. Estimate how much money she plans to spend each day. So we're going to estimate on this one uh, 18 divided into $650, okay? So, um, uh, so uh, 18 is close to a nice round number. Think of 20, and, and think of this. 6 divided by 2 would be 3. So 600 divided by 20 would be 30 right there. So 20 is going to go into that one right there. Okay, so 600 divided by 20. Or how about um, 
what number divided by 2 would give us this 4 right here? Well, 8 divided by 2 would give us this 4. So if this one was 600 divided by 20, this one's going to be 800 divided by 20. So those are the compatible numbers we're going to use right there. And the 20 came from, it's a close uh, round number to this 18 right here. And we chose 600 and 800 because it's 650. And 20 is an, uh, 600 is a nice multiple of 20, and 800 is another not nice multiple of 20, okay? So Paula can spend about, how much can she spend each day? Well, about $30 a day or $40 a day, because we, we rounded 600 and 800, and we divided both of those by 20. Okay, so about 30 to $40 a day. Okay, so would it be more reasonable to have an estimate or an exact answer for this situation and explain? Well, an estimate would be better because probably uh, Paula won't uh, spend the exact same amount each day. Some day it'll be a little bit more, some day a little bit be less. So, given Paula's situation, which estimate do you think would be a better one to use? Okay, so would it be better for her to spend twenty dollars a day or thirty dollars a day? Well, I would think. Uh, she would be better off to spend the lower amount of twenty dollars a day, so she won't won't, uh, won't have a chance of running out of money by the end of her trip right there. All right, so let's try this. Let's use some compatible numbers to uh, find two estimates of fifty three divides into four hundred twenty one, or four hundred twenty one divided by fifty three, and then over here thirty nine goes into two thousand seven hundred ninety six dollars. Okay, let's do the first one right here. So. So since uh, 53 is close to 50, that's a nice compatible number right there. And then 400 is a is a multiple of uh, 50, and then 450 is also a multiple of 50. And then check this out: 40 uh, divided by 5 is 8. So if we took off these two zeros right here, then it would be 40 divided by 5. So so this would be close to 8 or 9 because 45 divided by 5 is 9 so so this one's uh, in between 8 and 9 okay and this one here we'll round this one to what do you think 40 and uh, so 40 multiples of 40 that are close to 27 or are 24 and 28 four times uh, uh, I'm, yeah so 4 times 6 is 24 and 4 times 7 is 28 so so, um, oops, let's go back to this. So 421 divided by 53 is about 8 or 9. It's somewhere between 8 or 9. Sorry, I got ahead of myself there. So here we're going to do um, uh, change this 39 to 40 right here. And then multiples of 40, nice multiples of 40 are uh, from 2700 are going to be 2400 and uh, 2800. Okay. And then remember, the zeros take off. So it's going to be 240 divided by 4 which is going to give us 60 and then 280 divided by 4. See these blue zeros are going to cancel out with these blue zeros right here. So this one's going to be closer to 60 or uh, between 60 and 70 right there. Somewhere between 60 and 70. But it's much closer to 70 because this is very close to uh, 2,800 right here. So I would say it's closer to 70, much closer to 70 than it is to 60 right there. In fact, I'd say, you know, really close, like 69 something or maybe 68 or something like that. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great year. Take care.